Hi guys, my name is Sabina and welcome to another video. Yes, the lighting is shitty because it gets dark at like 4 p.m. in the afternoon already and I just had a bun and right now my hair is like totally adapted to the elastic. But I'm really excited for today's video. I already started recording it but then I found out that my um, settings on my camera were way off. Like the lighting was so, so, so warm and right now it's toned down a little bit so I want to refilm it again because then it looks a little bit better. So the post Postman literally just came that was my laptop. The postman just literally came at my door about 15 minutes ago and then I started to record this unboxing and like I said the lighting was just extremely terrible, even more terrible than right now, can you imagine? But I have six books to show you guys today in my cozy, relaxed fall book haul unboxing. I actually have way more books to show you guys in a book haul very very soon but today I just wanted to sit down and do this unboxing. I still have two out of the six books that I need to unbox so it is still actually an unboxing video but for now I'm gonna start with the books that I already unboxed. Package number one that I opened was the smallest one but definitely not the least exciting one because it contained two books. The first one is The Long Way to a Small and Angry Planet by Becky chambers and I know that this is like a sci-fi book but I think that most of the story is like a little bit more based around the characters. I will read you guys the synopsis and if you don't want to hear the synopsis you can just go click through the video a little bit more so you guys can see the next book. So the synopsis is when Rosemary Harper joins the crew of the Wayfarer she isn't expecting much. The Wayfarer, a patched up ship that's seen better days, offers her everything she could possibly want. A small, quiet spot to call home for a while. Adventures in far off corners of the galaxy and distance from her troubled past. But Rosemary gets more than she bargained for with the Wayfarer. The crew is a mishmash of species and personalities. From Sixes, Cesis, I don't know how you say this word, the friendly reptilian pilot to Kizzy and Jenks, the constantly sparing engineers who keep the ship running. Life on board is chaotic, but more or less peaceful. Exactly what Rosemary wants. I've heard so many amazing things about this book and the good thing, like the best thing about this order is that this book was only like four or five euros, which I just couldn't say no to, especially because it is so popular and I feel like almost every single person enjoys this book. And I love sci-fi, I love character-based stories, so I totally needed to finally own this. The next book that came in this package is A Close and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers, which is I think like the sequel or companion, one of the two, I'm not too sure. Um, to a long way to a small and angry planet. That title is so long I keep forgetting it and I put the book right there behind my bed. I'm not gonna read the back because then I probably might spoil myself for the first book. This was again only four or five euros so I just like bought both books at the same time for nine euros. I was like this is an amazing deal. I cannot pass it. And by the way when I ordered the books I think I ordered them like last week maybe. I don't know if there already was like a a Black Friday sale. I don't know today's Black Friday, so I think not. But still, Book Depository has one of the best prices. But they did give me like 10% off because I hadn't bought any books for like a long time, so I was happy to use it. So next up is Moxie and the first time that I recorded this video, I was like Moxie by Amy Poehler, but that is because Amy Poehler's name is just as big as the name of the author on the book, so mm -mm. But the author is actually Jennifer Matthew and this is in the Zoella book club edition I think. It looks gorgeous but the book kind of feels weird. It kind of feels really rough. All that I know about this book is that it's a contemporary. It's written by a UK author I think and that it's all about like this group of girls and feminism which is always great in my opinion if it's not pushed on too much. I hope that the main character and her like group of girls that she's gonna hang out with probably are not gonna be talking about feminism like all the time but I do hope that it focuses on it a little bit. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be too pushy, that's what I hope. Vivian Carter is fed up. Fed up with sexist dress codes, fed up with gross comments from guys during class, fed up with her high school teachers who let it happen. But most of all, Viv is fed up with always following the rules. Sounds interesting. Um, like I said, contemporary. It's around 300 pages. 
Plus it's written by a UK author and I've been saying this for over like one and a half years but I really want to read more UK authors. I don't know if I've done that by now but then I have another one so yay! I've just heard so many amazing things about Moxie so I can't picture that book going wrong. Next up, this is again kind of like a funny one. This is It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne. Um, first of all, the cover is so cute, plus it has one of my favorite foods on it, which is popcorn. I eat popcorn like three times a week maybe. So, bad boys turn good, kisses in the rain, climbing through bedroom windows, it only happens in the movies. When Audrey meets Harry, it's the start of a truly cinematic romance. Or is it? Audrey knows that Harry is every movie cliche rolled into one, but she still chooses to let him into her heart. So I feel like this is going to be a romance where the girl falls in love with the guy, he breaks her heart, and then the heart gets repaired again. If you know what I mean. I'm Dutch, guys. Sometimes my English is not the best. The only reason why I bought this book is because it's Holly Bourne and Karis, who is one of my best friends here on booktube, from Karis on Reading. Holly Bourne is her favorite author and I own three books from Holly Bourne right now. Uh, still haven't read one of them, but I really hope that there's gonna be a change in that in 2018. Um, but the cover is just really simplistic but beautiful and it's blue on the inside, which always makes me happy. It sounds really just like a cute contemporary read, hopefully, but I hope that there's also gonna be a little bit more to that, maybe? We'll see when I read it. Okay, and then the last two books ooh, that I have, almost everything is falling out of the package, um, is in here. And these are, in my opinion, I think the most exciting books of this book haul. First up, let's start with a book that probably everyone has gotten in the past one or two months, probably. I pre-ordered this book at the beginning of August of this year, and I think it came out in September. And then I, like, I pre-ordered it through Amazon, which I don't think I will ever do again because I've had so many problems with pre-ordering books on Amazon. Um, it was supposed to come in a lot later already because so many people, I think, pre-ordered it. It took them two to three months to ship them. It was supposed to come in, I think, two weeks ago. Then I looked at my Amazon order on my account and it said that it was coming in through like the mid of December to beginning of January of 2018. And I was like, well guys, nope, not gonna do that. So I canceled my order and I ordered it on Book Depository and I have it within like two weeks. So what the crap are you talking about, Amazon? I've been ordering books from Amazon for like four years right now and their pre-order thing is like really, really bad. Ooh, okay, so that was all the talk about that. Now let's show you guys the book. It is War Cross by Mary Lou and I'm really excited to remove the dust jacket of this thing and it's not what I wanted it to be. <laughs> I've seen all of these beautiful rainbow covers I think from War Cross and I don't have that one and I was so excited. It's still beautiful though because it's bright blue which is my favorite color but I was expecting a big ass rainbow under this cover so that is a little bit disappointing. <laughs> but War Cross, guys, this is like a book about a gamer who is also a hacker and I don't really know what it's about. But funny story about War Cross. So I was totally feeling the sort of like gamer sci-fi-ish vibe for a new book because I finished um, a book by Colleen Hoover last week. Uh, and Warcross still hadn't come in, so I totally wanted to read something with like gamers and sci-fi-ish things. So then I picked up Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, which I have had on my shelves for I think about two years right now. I'm halfway through, I started this weekend, and I love it so incredibly much. I don't get like, I think 95 out of 100% of all the 80s references, but I love learning about like 80s culture and stuff like that. And the writing style I think is really, it just really keeps my attention. And the font is like the tiniest font that you will ever see, but I get through this book rather quickly and I am I love it! Why didn't I pick this book up earlier? It is amazing and it's exactly what I need right now. So I hope that these two books won't have too much in common with like the video game vibe going on. But right now I don't see myself reading Warcross anytime soon just because Ready Player One is like one of the best books that I have read until so far in this year and that says a lot because I haven't read that many great books this year until so far. I just hope that Warcross and Ready Player One won't have that many similarities because then 
I'm pretty sure that I won't like Warcross that much. Whew, okay, I did so much talking the last five minutes. And then we finally arrived to the last book, which I was so happy to find this on their website for so cheap. It's, I think it came down to 14 euros and on Amazon this book is 23 euros new. Oh my Lord. A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, the third book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, and this book is gigantic. I read A Darker Shade of Magic, I think, in March of this year. One of my best reads of 2017 also. I think I gave it like a four and a half out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. Still, unfortunately, haven't picked up what's it called, A Gathering of Shadows. I really, really hope to do that in 2018. I've heard so many great things about this series, about like the third book especially. I've heard that the second book, most people think it's a little meh. But I hope that the third one will make up for that. I'm not gonna read the synopsis because it will spoil me for the second book. I am so happy that I finally have this in my collection. These covers are so aesthetically pleasing. They're so simple with the white, black, and uh, red. Just makes me really, really happy. So these were all these six books that I received today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, even though the lighting is really, really shitty. So soon there will also be another book haul with like the rest of the books that I still need to haul. I think that's about like 14, so yeah. So you guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, I have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address so you guys can send me emails if you want to. All of those will be in the description down below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!